Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, a long war of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run where we're playing the game on the highest difficulty on a better one of the mod and uh, it is month number 6 plus we found the aliens with their pants quite figuratively pulled down it is time to get rid of another mall uh, here in South, Africa, uh, South America this time we found a potential um, double agent and this mission here is using only uh, operation staff uh, from the base plus the operations uh, leader nasty who are trying to kill uh, said more we got a few laser rifles which is great actual laser rifles we got some assault rifles and grenades and overall we got a team of six so uh, this here should be fine there's no time limit on the whole uh, thing plus i can see some high ground over here which means we just need to make it up to the rendezvous point so this is some good old basic uh basic level xcom how we're liking it just with some core rookies nasty got some really nice abilities with uh grenades on top of it so that's good i feel very confident unless we're going to see strong enemies so far all of these missions here when we were catching them off guard were surprisingly straightforward right i mean we were essentially just moving in kind of catching them off guard and then we were slaughtering them the faces ones against conventional weapons uh they yeah, they pose a problem or challenge okay. but now that we do have laser and in nasty's case even a magnetic weapon with us i think we're going to be fine however if we're going to run into stronger enemies i might uh, that might change the situation quite a bit we can definitely take that pack All right, we got concealment. Headed there now. Let's position ourselves a bit further up here. <clears throat> and we're doing an overwatch trap if they spot us out we're going to have six overwatch shots you know that's not the worst um, start that i could think about maybe actually a relatively good start yes this here will shred all of them not sure if it explodes the car but if it would it'll even kill two of them <laughs> okay yeah it kills them as well it's a bit of a bummer because unfortunately now the loot is gone but I think I can handle that got ourselves a nice little PCS
Bring just a little bit closer. What's over there? And let's overwatch with the rest. Okay, getting everyone sort of to the front line. Great option, by the way, in, on non-timed missions uh, to, uh, to practice a bit of hygiene. Should always uh, reload if the time allows. And we're doing another Overwatch trap. The enemy has heard the explosion. Most likely explosions have 120 distance radius, which is approximately up to kind of here, more than the vision range. So they should have heard it. But who knows, maybe they haven't. Good, let's double check. Well, look at you. Aren't you a beauty? Okay. Moving a little bit closer. And boy, oh boy, are we going to remove the cover. Good job. Next important lesson to remember. Use your explosives liberal. Just barely can't reach uh, the other. cover so I just want to make sure that we're being aggressive with the usage of our of our supplies and cover specifically for rookies makes such a huge difference blowing a massive hole into this barn here makes the entire difference between 10% shot in an 80-90% shot. That's right. okay. Good, we're overwatching because the regeneration of the faces one starts at the beginning of its round, so if we're just like grazing, uh, shotting it, it wouldn't do any good. But everything, every single hit that it's now taking uh, will be sticky damage, at least until the next turn. Well, look at you. The only thing that can actually improve our hit chances is taking high ground. And we might sponsor the kill for Nasty because he can actually level up. And this might be already it. Positive confirmation. Area Tch, easy peasy. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yeah, you guys are going to probably be disappointed. Oh my god, Saiken, that's the first mission uh, which only took nine minutes. After hours of missions, but I am super happy about it. Very much so. Good, and we're back. Look at that. Nasty even got a promotion out of it. Perfect. Lovely. We're taking Salvo. The action economy that you get out of Salvo is just too good to, to pass it. 
and tactical sense looks pretty damn awesome full kit is absolutely nice but we're probably going for combat engineer i mean uh, that is that is awesome i'm almost inclined now that i've seen the builds i can can very much see a grenadier going all the way uh, through the uh, support grenades uh, blue screen bombs plus the sting grenades which allow you to to make sure that um, you could even uh, stun the enemies then smoke and then at the end take full kit and essentially enter a mission with almost 10 grenades Yeah, that would that's a pretty nasty build as well. I can very much see how that um, how that could be good. We got uh, perception, we got a scope. And that's pretty damn good. Let's just give uh, the PCS to uh, a few of the rookies. Haven't promoted him, by the way. Should have, probably. I mean, this one is good. Just so you can always take an additional soldier with you. It's a great ability. Hit and run is likewise pretty, pretty good. But I think we're going to go for Whirlwind, which I do understand is the soldier can only one move per turn. Yeah, okay, so that's essentially a similar ability than Momentum, uh, which allows you to get in and out. So we're going for that because we're using most of our Shinobis as melee <coughs> combatants anyways. Yeah, he was promoted in the last Covert Ops mission. Should have probably given him uh, given him an upgrade by then. And unfortunately, some other soldiers are currently unavailable, so we can't give them PCSs. They are all infiltrating. Well, too bad. We're going to do it on the mission loading screens. It, it doesn't need to happen right now. It was just an idea. Let's just double check what else we can do. We got our training going. Got our removal of negative traits going. Got our uh, building uh, going. Can't build additional... Yeah, we could theoretically build resistance communication, but we don't need that yet. Okay, instead, let's manage our havens as well, because here you can already see we're having another recruit, which is great. Recruits in America, in all of the Americas, are fine. And over here, we put everything on Intel because we want the extra missions. That is good as well. So yeah, life is, life is pretty okay. Let's go and continue in our liberated area because uh, that will give us additional supplies and supplies is currently what we need. Plus, we need to knock off a few bars of the Avatar project. Nice. We got ourselves another spark. We're ready to go, Commander. 
I would continue the production of more sparks, but the problem is the sparks unfortunately cost 80 supplies as well. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are good. But I don't... Uh, we are super supply starved and we can't even afford the plasma or the power armor, the highest armor. Our new spark, by the way, the first spark, I renamed it as Prime Spark. Let's give this one here a name. All right, it'll go by the name of Secundo Spark and maybe we're skilling it a bit different. I mean, why not? Could be more of a sniper. I want to try out the different spark builds anyways. Haven't had much time to um, experiment with them right away. So the first one is more looking like a tank and this one could maybe be more of a damage dealer. Perfect, we got ourselves the alien debris cleared. Which finally gives us more supplies. <laughs> Are you guys thinking the, uh, the same as I? Yeah. Finally, spark number three is on its way. I swear, I'll stop with the sparks afterwards for, for now. Three is okay. So we got uh, plenty. Yeah, we we now do have a few engineers left over. So two additional engineers. But don't worry about that. We're soon going to use uh, them. Yeah, we could go for additional power to get more uh, resistance order slots. That's actually not a bad idea to invest the next funds into into that. Now that we do have some of uh, the uh, some of uh, the members, uh, some of the engineers left over. All right, chosen attacks on our storage area left one of our crew injured. We lost two Alarium. And a scientist is wounded for 14 days. Well, that sucks. Commander, we need to keep an eye out for the chosen sabotage attempts. We don't have any more time to lose. Commander, we might have to do some cleaning, but we've still got room to grow here. We should consider building some new facilities. Well, yes, we certainly should consider building new facilities, but we need to have meaningful facilities before doing that. All right, got ourselves another mission here. Hacky workstation for Intel. We're definitely going to do that. And we do have a 200% infiltrated tower, which means our next mission is the first network tower. And I'm looking forward for that. Good, let me fill this out real quick. All right, here we go. So we got our second spark with us. Uh, we uh, are going in with um, uh, Shinobi. We're going in with <laughs> his master. is just so good. I absolutely like the character model. So Lance Corporal Nabel, he doesn't have a call sign yet, but we're actually calling him, uh, uh, we are calling him Big Daddy. Wait a second.
All right, back. So we got Big Daddy here uh, as a sniper, overdrive as uh, support. Uh, we got Dynamite, who is going to be the um, cover removal. By the way, do we have a better grenade for her? Yes, I ended up finding a plasma grenade, so she will put that into her grenade slot, which will be duplicated, so two plasma grenades. Good cover removal, actually. So yeah, I'm looking forward for that uh, team. We got plenty of time to infiltrate, and with 18 enemies as a baseline, even though they are carrying mostly laser weapons, we should be fine. I think that's going to be all right. Give the newbie teams a couple of uh, standard jobs. Good, and very soon, like right now, we got 200% on the first uh, network tower, almost 200% on the second network tower, which means this here, guys, is the next mission that we're going to do, Operation Hammer Queen where we finally get the location of the regional HQ plus a lot of intel. We got a very, very nice squad with Fury and a lot of high-level uh, soldiers, Dark Tower, Zirkim, uh, Divad, and Edgar Allan Poe. So that's a good squad. I really want to take them on the mission, but that's going to happen next run. I know this episode is only 21 minutes, but sometimes a quickie is all you can get in. Thank you for watching and uh, Take care, until the next time, leave a comment or a like down below. As we're now going to back-to-back -back, uh, uh, missions for two of these network towers. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.